let me tell you guys something these past like five six days have been the absolute worst i got the flu all of the kids got the flu everybody in this household got the flu except for lewis and it hit me so hard to the point i was in tears like i was crying like a baby over how bad my head hurt i don't think anybody talks enough about when when you get the flu it's not just like coughing and sneezing but it's this headache that never goes away. I remember crying one night and I, I was telling Lewis, I was like, I'd rather give birth than like deal with this. Like it was so bad. We're feeling better. The only things that we have left are cough. We're trying to get rid of like all the mucus and stuff, but that's where we've been for like the past five, six days. The kids right now are playing some Mario Kart. Who's winning? Me. Oh, you're in first place now, P. That's Penelope over there. The only positive, I guess, I would say about this is that Balcom and Levy, they're having a birthday party coming up this Saturday. It's like five days away. I'm trying so hard to like vlog, but I keep having like these blanks and like I don't, I have low energy, so <coughs> they won't be sick for the birthday party. I'm happy that we all caught the flu now rather than next week because I would have had to cancel everything. gonna go run some errands right now the birthday party is five, five days, days away you're I, that you don't have a catering nothing i'm starting to get a little bit nervous i have you some... have a lot on your plate baby i don't have any on my plate he does except for your ass <laughs> i have like kind of like the main thing the bounce house book that's the main thing to and you? that's the pretty much house. it maybe the cake the cake oh table. i have the cake the, i paid for the cake what about the cake table yeah that's set up the cake table i'm gonna get cupcakes we need to get decorations okay yes i know i know i gotta do all that i have other things to do but i have the cake paid for and i have the bounce house so now i need food catering but i dm the the company on instagram okay. besides that i just gotta buy like pinatas we gotta go to costco further at the end of the week and we have to get like Drinks, alcohol lick. chips big bag of candy for like the pinatas because you know latinos get lit after the kids party bro yeah and then i have to get and i can't wait i'm getting lit tablecloths turning five bro i don't I'm turning want five yes think about that so usually um for birthday parties like i'll go all out and i'll spend like five thousand dollars or more and it's really ridiculous like thinking about it now really because ridiculous. it's like a thousand dollars on like a balloon garland is that really necessary it's like oh a slap in the face God. because after the party all of the balloons pop and pop. the kids don't give a crap about the balloons like they're playing yeah. so it's like who am i trying to impress you know what i'm saying Real so talk, it's bro. like i'm not doing that this year i'm doing like a simple friendly kids wow. birthday party wow guys bramty is maturing as a woman you I, see that? I think it's because when you have money, right? When you first gain access to a lot of money and you start doing these things you've never done before, for example, birthday parties, like you want to go all out and you want to be able to experience it. And then after you experience it, like you don't care about it anymore. It's like, okay, been there and done that. It's just going to be like a, a simple birthday party, but it's going to be fun. So those are like the things that I got to do today because time is ticking. And Lewis is just going to just be there. Yeah, I'm just going to ride along, eat food. Why am I holding this for you, baby? Listen, baby, I what? forgot. To you bring tampons? like tampons. So now you're wearing a fat pad. So I had like a accident in the car. Swear, in the car, on the seat. All over the seat. Can you see? No. I'm can I smell it? No, listen. Can you see anything though? Cause I had a pad in my purse. So I have, I'm wearing a thong in the pad. Turn around. No, I can't see anything. Um, We're at this place called Lotti Lotti oh, Market. Okay. It's like an Asian Sam's Club. It is packed, bro. Like people are like literally parking on the street. There's no parking. We're gonna go in. We're gonna creep, get something to eat, and out. Okay, because I got things. To what are you creeping about? It's a grocery Just store. Just creeping to see what it looks like. Oh, okay. It looks cool online. Guys, tell me why Brenty thinks she's famous or something with the glasses, with the hoodie. Are my eyes not swollen? A little bit. Wow, look at this. Just look at this. Wow, it is packed. It is packed. Korean beauty, babe. Huh? Korean beauty? Korean beauty. No, you're lying. They know the way to your soul, baby. Cool, babe. Pretty cool look at this literally came and read it wow i thought you were gonna come to creep in and out hey. look at you now bro look at you now bro 
How is it? Is it good? Is it busting? Mm. 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 Wouldn't this be cute for Balcony? No. What do you mean no? Babe, don't start grabbing things that you don't need, baby, okay? This would be cute for his room. Fine, bruh. They're piggy banks, but he doesn't have to use it as a piggy bank. It can just be for decor. They're kind of cool. This actually. would be very cool. Like a little collectible. Yeah. They're kind of cool, I guess. So, guys, we're in the balloon section because Brandy doesn't want to spend a thousand dollars on a garland, so she's gonna make her own garland. Right, baby? Don't you have that kit to make garlands? I'm not making a garland. You have the kit, don't you? Yeah, but I'm not doing all that. Like, yeah. No? Uh -uh. Baby. I'm, I'm gonna get, we're gonna get, a, you're gonna have to pick up a bunch of balloons. I'm gonna get star balloons because you know how in Mario there's the like star. star. We're doing like Mario and Prince Peach. I'm doing stars, so I'm doing gold. Because okay. since it's like a gender neutral birthday party, I'm gonna okay. do a lot of gold. What about reds? Yeah, and pinks too. Oh, nice, baby, nice. <laughs> You're gonna look at me? You're not gonna ask me if I'm okay? Babe, I've been asking you okay for the last six days. Welcome! Welcome! I bought you something for your room. Oh my goodness. And. Oh! I got you. Sonic! Wow, it's for decoration, bro. What do you say, bro? You like it? Let's go put it in your room. Come on. Come on, What? We just got back from the store. Only ended up buying one thing, which is really good. I found tablecloths at Home Goods, which was amazing. I got like actual cloth ones and I got them in gold. It was like a yellow, but like what are the chances you Home Goods? So I got those, so that's off my list. Okay, let me see. <gasps> that looks so awesome. Do you like it, Balcom? Yeah. I want to see it. I'm seeing it right here. Oh yeah. Okay, he's gonna see he's seeing where he should put it. Oh, that looks so awesome. I am so proud of Balcom because this morning he woke up, he brushed his teeth, and look what he did. He made his bed. Look how he made his bed. Look at this. It's, it's not perfect, but it's it's the, the, the thought, the effort. I'm so proud of you, bro. All right, so you guys saw us go to that market, that little Asian market that just opened up in Tampa. And that place is bomb. We got recommended to go there by TikTok. So we went there and they have like a famous bakery. Well, Asian people in general have bomb bakery good. I got this almond pancake looking thing. Look at this thing, bro. It's the softest little piece of bread that I've ever encountered. Look, look, look at the bend. Look at the jiggle. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's so good. It smells delicious, it smells like vanilla. It has a little filling actually, like a little thin layer of like something, like an icing. Wait. Bro. That is so good. You want to try it? What's that? It's from an Asian bakery. You want to try it? It's like an almond pan pancake. You want to try it or not? No. Okay, bye. My kids sometimes are picky. I try to teach them to eat everything. But sometimes when they don't want to eat something, I don't even get mad. Because that means more for me. This is actually delicious. This is actually 10 out of 10. This is like a freaking hot dog bun. Oh my. Look. Look, look at that filling. Do you guys see that? Oh my God. Wait. Bro, you know what I love about these bakery treats? They're not overbearing with sweetness. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, it's the best. I can eat like 20 of these because it's not so sweet. Oh, that is good. Brandy's gonna miss out on this shit because I'm, I'm not saving any for Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, first, can you tell everybody your name? Lenny. And what is your name, sir? Belka. And do you guys think you're going to win musical chairs? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any certain skills? No. No. Okay, so for musical chairs today, we have prizes. All right, guys, listen. So if you win, you can pick the Mario and Luigi walkie-talkie. Wow. Or this Mario Monopoly. Thank you. Wow. Are you guys excited or no? <laughs> levy's off, Levy's off. <laughs> levy, levy's gonna fight him to the death now. It's hard, it's hard. Should I do another round? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do one more round. One more round, one more round. Penelope's out. Yeah. Penelope's out. 
this is getting intense. I need to interview the parents of these children. Do you think your daughter's gonna win? Absolutely. Wow. What about you, ma'am? Do you think your son's gonna win? He's gonna try his best. Aww. <laughs> Wow. What, what would you want? like, Monopoly or the Walkie Talkie? The Walkie Talkie. Woo, oh, a wow. round of applause. Good job, Lexi. Wow. Let's go, Levy. So the party just got done. I came in here. I let the kids open their gifts because they've been asking me. Oh, okay, open it. They've been asking me all day. Wait, can I open the presents? And I was like, you gotta wait for the party to be done because I didn't want them opening gifts and then just having it all over the pack, all over the backyard and like just a big disaster. Oh my goodness, you got a shirt. So they're opening the gifts now. And the party was so much fun. We had like a close friends and family and it was very intimate and it was a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. I can move. This looks so cute. Oh, more baby stuff? Oh my goodness. So yeah, the kids are not officially five yet. They turned five on the 22nd. Today was just their birthday party, but they had so much fun and I can't believe that you guys are like, since literally I was pregnant with them, you guys have been here for five years. Like five that's years. insane. Like that's crazy. Like how long you guys have been with us. Ryan and Montana are here right now. Hello, hello. And look, they brought their guinea pig. But we're gonna prank the kids and we're gonna pretend that it's for them. Damn. Uh, for their birthday. We surprise them. Yeah, yeah. You can say it's your for their birthday. That's so sad though. Feel so bad. Welcome, Levy, Penelope. Ryan and Montana brought you guys a birthday present. This birthday present is for all of you to share. Do you understand? Are you guys ready for your birthday present? Yeah! Okay, it's coming. Okay, open your eyes. A guinea pig? Yeah! Happy birthday. It's so cool! <laughs> Are you guys happy? Yeah! It's gonna be like a class pet for homeschool. Guys, look at your new birthday present. Look. What are you gonna name him? Um, how about I name him? Sarah. Sarah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys say to Ryan? Thank you, Ryan! You're welcome. Well, that was a great birthday present. Guess what? Ryan has something to tell you now. Ryan <laughs> can do that to me. <laughs> Babe? It's a prank. We're actually going to eat him for lunch. No, you're not. Yeah, we're building him. No, home. we're kidding. That's not your birthday present. That's Ryan's pet. He brought him over so he wouldn't be lonely. We can play with him for today. You can play with him. Yeah. They're sad. <laughs> They're sad. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They touch him or no? Yeah. Okay. Yay. Oh, easy, easy. Cause he, he might bite, he might bite. Just Buckle rub. ready to go in there. Yeah, I know. Just rub like kind of like here. He likes. Oh, we should get him a little a little hamster. I'm good, baby. No, for real, we should look how cute it is. Yeah, cool. Who's gonna take care of it? Can do it. Who's gonna take care of it? Come on. The kids will take you care of it. I'd like to give a cheers to my wife because she's so beautiful. That's five. That's five. What? That's five. You said that five times today. She's beautiful. Today she looks amazing. That's sick. Not any other day? Nope. No. All right. <laughs> All right, today is Richard and Veronica's gender reveal. We're gonna find out if the baby in Veronica's belly is a boy or a girl. And I'm very excited. Like, I feel like usually you do gender reveals like early in the pregnancy. She's 20 weeks. So it's like we waited so long to find this out. So today's the day. I would like to give a speech to my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, my new sister-in-law. I love you guys very much. And um, I'm so excited to be an uncle to your baby, whatever it is, girl or boy. I'm so excited. And this is a new chapter for all of us, Richard, for, especially for you. 
Wow. And I'm so excited for you, man. I hope this is going to be a new chapter for you, a new beginning. And I'm excited to see the father that you truly should and will be. I love you very much, man. And Veronica, I hope that uh, to see you grow as a mother. And I'm so excited. And I can't wait to bully your kid like you bully mine. <laughs> are you Bramty? Bro, no time. Wait, as you can speak? Oh, now it's Bramty's turn. Whoa! Bramty, Bramty, Bramty. This is a once in a lifetime because I don't usually say nice things. So this next one probably, let's see, your birthday. So I want to say, I'm so shy. I want to say, <laughs> I want to say, um, can I do this like in private? No, just do it. <laughs> okay. If you get closer to them, that'd be great. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to be an aunt, giving me the dream that I dreamt of for many years. Thank you for giving my kids a cousin, for expanding our family. Thank you for being a great sister-in-law. One of a kind, because it's very hard to meet, you know, a good sister-in-law. Thank you for that, Richard. I'm very excited and very looking forward to seeing you become a dad, because I never got to experience you as a dad. Um, so being able to see it for like my first time, and especially with like a woman that I love and that you love and that we all love, is going to be a very um, memorable thing. And I'm very excited for you guys for this new chapter. And yeah, the end. Thank you so much. And, and, and thank you for being a great uncle to our kids too. And on. And on. And on. All right. And of course, we're not going to share with you guys the gender of the baby. You guys are going to have to watch that over on their channel. But we know the gender now. The gender reveal was yesterday. Two days ago. Two days ago. And I am so excited. We're both so excited. Everybody, like the whole entire family is so excited. The fact that we're going to have like another new baby in the, in the family we're gonna expend the family the kids are gonna get a cousin a baby is such a huge blessing like when a baby comes along like there is nothing but just positive things like it's all positive it's such a blessing and we're just like super 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 excited i know it's like a new beginning i feel like i'm gonna become like a dad in a sense and i feel like since me and you talk about having babies like every now and then i feel like it's gonna take away like our baby fever yeah and i'm excited i'm excited to like Hold the baby again, like it's gonna feel brand new. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Sometimes we want another baby, but then we don't. Um, and I feel like this is our craving because we'll get to like experience and enjoy the baby and feed the baby and do everything and then just give it back to the parents. All right, guys. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. We had a lot going on in this vlog. Bye. 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 Bye.